Hello everyone, in this video we are just going to study in detail about the ASCII codes in C language. So this ASCII codes is developed by American National Standard Institute that is nothing but the ANSI Institute and this ASCII is abbreviated as American Standard Code for Information Interchange and this ASCII codes are most widely developed for storing and using characters in our program so for storing a particular character in our program it is very difficult for storing a particular character right in case of if you are storing a number in your program you can convert that number into binary format and then you can store it but in case of character it is very very difficult there will be many complexities in storing a particular characters or if you take an english language uh, we are having totally a to Z in capital and A to Z in uh, small letters and also we are having various special characters like question mark, fence slash, backslash etc. So for storing all those English alphabets along with special characters involved in the English language, this ANSI group developed this ASCII codes for our reference. So using this ASCII code, you can encode 128 characters and this number 128 occupies only 7 bits of memory in your CPU. So this is the advantage. So if you want to store a particular character in the memory, it may consume uh, several bytes of memory. But when you use this ASCII codes for representing a particular character in your CPU, it will consume only 7 bits of data in your CPU. So within that 7 bits, you can represent all the English alphabets along with all the special characters. Whatever the character that you want to store, you can use only 7 bits in your CPU for storing that character. So this is the reference ASCII table for representation. So let me just brief this. You can clearly see for the, for the number 0, the null character has been mapped. And for the number 65 in decimal, the character capital A is mapped. So when we store the number 65 in memory and as per the ASCII standard available in C language, that 65 will be representing the English alphabet capital A. So in the same manner, the number 90 is representing the character capital Z. And the number 97 is representing the alphabet small a and the number 122 is representing the character small z. And also you can clearly see the number 35 is representing the hash symbol and 36 is representing the dollar symbol. And 37 is representing the percentage symbol and it goes on like this. So as per this table, you can clearly see the number starts from 0 and goes till 127. So among these 128 characters starting from 0 to 127, you can store any character within 7 bits of data. That is, it requires only 127 as the maximum number to be stored and 0 as the minimum number to be stored. So you can use a char data type variable for storing any one of all these numbers, right? So you can store any one of these numbers from 0 to 127 in a char data type based variable itself for representing a particular character in this table. So in such a manner, based on this table, the ASCII code functions and stores the number and that particular number will be representing to a particular character or a special character as per this table and this table is framed by ASCII standards that is the American standard code for information interchange. So remember that in C language we will not be storing any characters or special characters in memory instead we will be storing numbers between 0 to 127 and that number will be mapped to a particular character or alphabets or special characters based on the ASCII table or ASCII standards framed by ANSI. So now you can see on the screen this is a simple program 
in which we have declared a variable of unsigned char that is having the name 1 and 1 has been stored with the number 37 and then we are printing the variable value of the one variable right over here using this line. So let me just run this. You can see the variable one value is 37. So the variable value is printed on the output screen. So that is the result of this program. So as I mentioned this ASCII code has been developed for the C programming language mainly. It is available by default in the C language itself. What I will do is I am just going to display the character capital A using this ASCII code in my program. So what I will do is I will store the number 65 which is nothing but the integer which is representing the capital A right over here. You can clearly see 65 is the integer for representing the capital A according to the ASCII table. So now when I run this program you can see the variable one value is 65. This is because I have printed the variable one value with the identifier required for integer and when I use the identifier required for printing the character the respective character will be printed on the output window that is percentage %c is the identifier required for printing the character using printf and when I run this program you can see the variable one value is a. So in such a manner a particular variables can be stored and retrieved using the variable char itself and also you can use other data types like int etc in this program for storing this ASCII code since it is having the maximum value of 127 and minimum value of 0 and also you can use this method also you can see when I store like this also it works fine you can see you can do like this or you can directly store a number and you can retrieve back the equivalent ASCII character for that number. So I hope you understood what is ASCII codes and how characters and special characters are represented in programming language C using integers as per the ASCII standards. So this is how you can represent a particular character, special characters tokens in your C program and then you can retrieve back using the same percentage C type qualifier for characters. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching.